Herb Wisher here from Gimmeyak.com. Here we are today back in Dragon Ball The Breakers going for the two power key related achievements. Both of these are going to be done in an online game. They are both going to be done from the survivor side, so make sure you choose that. And then once you set your role and then get into the game, I'm going to recommend the first thing you try to go for is going to be a power key radar. So make sure you keep opening up red chests and hopefully you find one sooner rather than later. Finding one as soon as you can is going to be a big help for this achievement as we are going to be able to find exactly where the power keys are. So once you have the radar, make sure you hold right bumper and then hit B to use it. And basically it's going to show you the location of all of the power keys if you are within their vicinity. Every single game is going to have five power keys to find, one per sector. Every sector is going to have one with the exception of Sector X. Every sector's key is going to be located in a random item box within that sector. So all you have to do is just make sure you locate one. Using the radar is going to allow you to pinpoint its exact location. So make sure you take advantage of that. Find the item box, grab the key out of it. And then once you have the key, you're supposed to bring it back to its slot. In order to look for it, just make sure you keep your eyes in the sky for the yellowy orange beacon. That's going to be where you need to bring the key to. So make sure you bring it to it. It's always going to be in the same sector that you pulled the key from. So every Every sector's key is going to go to that sector's key slot and then what you want to do basically is you want to make sure you bring the key over to the slot and then slot it in you're going to get a little progress bar and as soon as you finish slotting the key you should set it and that's going to complete the requirements for that sector the objective of every single game is to make sure you and your teammates try to find and set all five power keys in each one of the sectors. However, in order to get these two particular achievements we're going for, we are going to need to be the ones that find and set two separate keys for two separate sectors. So once you take care of your first one, we're going to need to try to look for a second one. Again, finding the power radar as early as possible is going to be a big help. That way we don't have to fumble across random item boxes hoping to find keys. So hopefully the randomness of the game is going to play in your favor and you can pull a key radar as soon as possible so you can start looking for the power keys as quick as possible. Now, whenever you do pull a key out of an item box, it's going to alert every single player in the game of your location, including the raider. So you definitely want to be very careful when trying to recover the key and then try to bring it back to the slot that it goes to. So make sure you do mine that. There is going to be this first achievement right here if you can manage to find two keys, which should be pretty easy. As long as you are keeping up with your scavenging and you last far enough into the game, you should eventually stumble across two power keys even if you don't have the radar. The radar is going to help you find them earlier though while the raider is still weak but if you do manage to pull two keys out of two separate item boxes in two separate sectors in the same game you should be good for this achievement am i a genius or what for 15 gamer score hopefully you can bring both keys back to where they are supposed to go which is going to be their slots so just make sure you look for the beam and then just make sure you plant it and hopefully you can do this before the raider catches on and tries to stop you so just like the rest of your successes in this game, this is going to pretty much amount to your luck with the item boxes early on. If you can pull that power key radar as early as you can, hopefully you should be able to get this done in a single game before the raider can level up enough to try to stop you. But if you do pull it off, you should be good for this second achievement. If you can find and slot two keys in the same game, you should be good for putting in the work for another 15 gamer score. That's going to be both of the power key achievements. And that's all there is to it.